Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Number 5. Dexter Scott King, the second son of the legendary civil rights leaders Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King, passed away at 62 from prostate cancer on January 22 in Malibu, California. His life mirrored the profound legacy of his parents, embodying the principles of civil and animal rights activism, law, and literature. Born in Atlanta, Georgia, in 1961, King was shaped by the monumental loss of his father at just seven years old, a pivotal moment that steered him towards activism and advocacy. Educated at Morehouse College, King's aspirations transcended academia, leading him to helm the King Center for Nonviolent Social Change. His leadership aimed to invigorate the center as a hub for nonviolence training, reflecting his dedication to his father's ideals. King's activism extended to animal rights, inspired by his transition to veganism in the late 1980s, showcasing his commitment to compassion across all forms of life. King's contributions to media included voicing his father in Our Friend Martin and portraying him in The Rosa Parks Story, efforts that highlighted his dedication to preserving and sharing his father's legacy. His pursuit of truth regarding his father's assassination underscored his commitment to justice, engaging in public discourse and legal actions to challenge the official narrative. Dexter King's passing is not merely a loss to his family, including his wife Leah Weber, but to the global community inspired by his family's enduring legacy. Through his activism, artistry, and advocacy, King enriched the tapestry of civil rights and left an indelible mark on the fight for justice and equality. His life's work continues to inspire those dedicated to civil rights and the pursuit of a more compassionate and equitable world. Number 4. Charles Osgood, a distinguished journalist known for his tenure as the unhurried host of CBS Sunday Morning, passed away at 91 due to dementia at his New Jersey home. Osgood's career, spanning over half a century, made him a household name, beloved for his insightful commentaries on the Osgood file and his iconic bow ties. Taking the helm of CBS Sunday Morning from Charles Kuralt in 1994, Osgood's voice became synonymous with Sunday mornings for millions, offering a mix of news, culture, and human interest stories until his retirement in 2016. A Bronx native, Osgood's broadcasting journey began at Fordham University, leading him to a stint in the U.S. Army as the U.S. Army Band's MC, a role that saw him composing music and even contributing to the soundtrack of Easy Rider. His early days at WGMS and subsequent move to television in Hartford set the stage for his illustrious career at CBS, where he became a versatile figure in both radio and television journalism. Osgood's contributions to journalism were recognized with numerous awards, including a Peabody for his unique narrative style that often incorporated verse, earning him the title of CBS Radio's Poet-in-Residence. His distinctive sign-off, Until Then I'll See You on the Radio, captured his warm, personable approach that endeared him to audiences nationwide. Beyond broadcasting, Osgood was a prolific writer, contributing to newspapers, authoring books, and even dabbling in playwriting, showcasing his multifaceted talents. His legacy is one of eloquence, wit, and a profound ability to connect with viewers and listeners, making the complex and varied tapestry of news accessible and engaging. Survived by his wife of 50 years, Jean and their children, Osgood's passing marks the end of an era for CBS and the broader journalistic community. His family's statement reflects the deep connection Osgood had with his audience, 
emphasizing how his life was enriched by the stories he shared and the people he reached through his work. Number 3. Gary Graham, a versatile and talented American actor, musician, and author, passed away at the age of 73 on January 22nd. Born in Long Beach, California, Graham's acting career spanned over five decades, marking him as a significant figure in television and film. He is perhaps best known for his role as Detective Matthew Sykes in the television series Alien Nation and its five subsequent TV films. His portrayal of Soval, the Vulcan ambassador to Earth in Star Trek Enterprise, further solidified his status within the science fiction genre. Graham's career began in the 1970s, with one of his earliest notable roles in the 1980 CBS miniseries Scruples. His versatility was showcased through more than 38 TV roles and over 40 film appearances, including significant parts in Hardcore, The Hollywood Nights, All the Right Moves, and Robot Jocks. Aside from his acting career, Graham was also a passionate musician, performing with The Gary. Graham Garage Band, The Gary Graham Band, and The Sons of Kirk. In addition to his contributions to entertainment, Graham was a contributor to Breitbart News, demonstrating his engagement with media and politics. His work extended to web-based projects, including appearances as the Smoking Jacket Guy on The Jace Hall Show and playing Dr. David McAvoy in the web series Universal Deed, which was announced to be turned into a feature film in 2010. Gary Graham's legacy in the entertainment industry is marked by his dynamic roles and contributions to science fiction and beyond. His passing is a significant loss to the communities he was a part of, leaving behind a body of work that continues to inspire and entertain audiences worldwide. Number 2. Norman Jewison the illustrious Canadian film director and producer, known for his impactful storytelling and commitment to addressing social and political issues through cinema, passed away at his home in Los Angeles on January 20th at the age of 97. His career spanned several decades, during which he directed and produced numerous feature films that not only entertained but also provoked thought and dialogue among audiences worldwide. Jewison's directorial ventures garnered him wide esprit acclaim, with nominations for three Academy Awards for Best Director across three different decades for the films In the Heat of the Night, Fiddler on the Roof, and Moonstruck. His films often tackled complex subjects, making them accessible and relatable to mainstream audiences. For his contributions to the film industry, Jewison received the Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award from the Academy of Motion Pictures Arts and Sciences in 1999, a testament to his enduring influence and legacy in cinema. In addition to his successful career in Hollywood, Jewison was deeply committed to the development of the Canadian film industry. In 1988, he founded the Canadian Film Centre, a premier educational institution and innovation hub for filmmakers, which has nurtured thousands of talents and contributed significantly to the growth and recognition of Canadian cinema on the international stage. Born in Toronto, Ontario, Jewison's early life and education laid the groundwork for his illustrious career. Despite being often mistaken for Jewish due to his surname and notable direction of Fiddler on the Roof, Jewison, and his family were Protestants of English descent. His experiences serving in the Royal Canadian Navy during World War II and witnessing segregation in the American South profoundly influenced his later work, imbuing it with themes of justice, equality, and human rights. Jewison's passing marks the end of an era in filmmaking, leaving behind a legacy of groundbreaking cinema that challenged, entertained, and inspired. His dedication to the craft and his vision for a more inclusive and reflective film industry will continue to influence generations of filmmakers and audiences alike. Number 1. Perry Friedman, a revered figure in the world of professional poker, passed away on January 21st at the age of 55 after a battle with pancreatic cancer. Friedman, known for his skillful play and strategic acumen, 
left an indelible mark on the poker community, both as a competitor and as a founding member of the Tilt Boys, a group renowned for their love of the game and spirited approach to life. Friedman's prowess at the poker table was best highlighted by his victory at the 2002 World Series of Poker in the $500 limit Omaha High-Low Split 8, or Better Event, where he clinched the title and a prize of $176,160. This victory was a testament to his skill in one of poker's most challenging formats, and it earned him a coveted WSOP bracelet, an accolade cherished by poker players worldwide. Over his career, Friedman cashed 49 times at the WSOP, showcasing his versatility and skill across a range of poker variants. He made seven additional final tables at the WSOP, including notable finishes like third place in the $2,500 seven-card stud event in 2000 and fourth in the 2000 S Show E event in 2002. His consistent performances over the years underscored his status as a formidable competitor and a respected figure in the poker community. Beyond the numbers and accolades, Friedman's legacy is defined by his passion for poker, his strategic mind, and the camaraderie he shared with fellow players. His passing is a significant loss to the poker world, leaving behind memories of his achievements and the spirited way he played the game he loved.